Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon, and today we're going to talk about the Xiaomi PIR sensor and show you just how easy this is to integrate into your home assistant. So I bought two of these Xiaomi temperature sensors about a year ago and I've had them operating, one of them in my bathroom, basically giving me a bathroom nightlight which turns on the moment I walk in at night with a night, nice dim blue light so it doesn't wake me up too much and the battery still seems to be pretty much at 100%. It does show 70% but when I measured the voltage it was actually over 3 volts. So over a year's usage and still at over three volts, so pretty impressive. They're very, very nice little devices, neat and compact. They're actually very, very small. They're approximately two by three centimeter size, so they look big in the picture, but very neat and very easy to install anywhere that you need them. You can either place them on a shelf or you can stick them up using some double-sided tape. Now, very easy to change the battery as well. All you do is you twist the base of the device anti-clockwise and effectively the battery comes out as easy as that and you can put your new one in but I'm really excited to see how long this battery is going to last because up to now it's a year and the battery seems to be doing so well so let's have a look at how easy this is to integrate all we do is we scroll down to settings uh, devices and services and we scroll down to Zigbee so you would need some form of Zigbee Hub to use these devices. I've got the Sonoff Zigbee USB dongle, which I've been using for about a year now, and it's been really, really good to use. So if we scroll down here, we go into that, and we go Add Device. And now all I do is I take a pin, and I press it into the little hole on the side of the device. You'll see it will flash a blue light, which will tell us that it's going into pairing mode, and you'll see that it pretty much instantaneously appears there. I select, let's put this in the bathroom, and it is now all connected up. So if we go in there, it's called the Lumi Sensor Motion. So if we go into it, you'll see currently it's showing as detected. Occupancy is detecting, plus the PIR sensor is detecting. One thing is I generally use the um, PIR rather than the occupancy. seems to be quicker acting and it deactivates as well pretty quickly. So you'll see there it's now deactivated and it's sensed me again, whereas the occupancy has stayed on. Um, the battery for some reason at the moment is not telling us what the battery is sitting at. Not sure why. It normally comes up after a while. This identify button would be quite nice. Um, I thought if you pressed this, it would actually flash the little LED. Doesn't seem to do anything like that. It just shows there that it's been triggered. So I'm not sure. There are two hidden entities here as well, but I've never made any use of those. So let's have a look at my bathroom nightlight automation. So it basically looks at the sensor and the moment it becomes occupied, it will check first as a condition to see whether it is after sunset or before sunrise to make sure it doesn't switch on the light during the day. And then it will activate my bathroom nightlight as a scene, which effectively is used to switch on the light that I have in there, which is another Zigbee light at a certain temperature and a color. So it brings it down to really nice and dim and a blue light. So it doesn't wake me up when I get up at night to go to the toilet. That's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.